Good morning, everybody. Ramblin' Pam here. We're going to be out exploring the ghost town of Fairbank, Arizona this morning. Just oh, wow. Yeah. Some big nails, too. Yeah. Do you have any estimate how big or how much it weighed or anything by that? No. The previous camp host sighted it twice. And uh, that's relatively new. That's probably within the last week. Oh, yeah. Wow. At least. Yeah, because we went over here and that wasn't there. That wasn't there. So we'll put out game cameras and see if we can get some good photos out. Wow. They like to the BLM. Yeah. They like, they like to know what's going on. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Fairbank used to be called Junction City, then it was called Kendall, and then finally officially named Fairbank in 1883. It was the central entry and exit point for miners, prospectors, and all the materials en route to and from Tombstone. The town became one of the largest western cities when the population grew to about 15,000 people. It consisted of a Wells Fargo office, five saloons, four stores, three restaurants, a school, a jail, and a mill. We're going to take this short little hike to the old cemetery. So I think, is that the, over through the trees here, is that part of the railroad line over it's, here? Yeah, over there is the railroad line. Okay. Sure. All right. Yeah, some, I don't know what that like is. What's that? Oh, this here? It looks like a wagon? Yeah, well this down here does. Oh, interesting. Gosh, the skies are so blue out here. Look at that, all the way down, it's like a canopy of the trees coming together. That's an awesome look. We're coming up on the Fairbank Cemetery now. I said this was 0.4 miles from the town site of Fairbank. Pretty easy walk.
hike me through the thorns, huh? What's that? Or hike, yeah, hike me right through these thorns. Yeah, let's watch the thorns and bob white. Oh, look at this. Now this car, this isn't what you were talking about. Cause this, this is this is a different car. I was, was going to say about. this is not white. <laughs> you're it just leading. White. You're just <laughs> leading me astray out here. Cool, cool find though. There's uh, glass in the car. Oh, okay, window glass. Yep. And there's looks like from a foundation. Yep. Cool. Okay, yeah, this is what I saw. Oh. What is this for? Or what was this for? Maybe it was standing upright at one time? This is for water. Uh huh. I don't know what this top one looks like. It was for air or something. Maybe that's a water pump. I mean, bringing water through. Yeah. Look at this. Did you say it was? Cornell, manufactured by Cornell Manufacturing Company. Oh. Maybe we Looks can... Looks like Pennsylvania. Looks like a, like a old water pump type. Yeah. I know a lot, of, water from the river. a lot of this stuff came from Pennsylvania from, um, for the mines and stuff back then. So I don't know. Um, maybe... Uh, Maybe I can look some of that there's, up. There's, there's valves on both ends mm -hmm. to control the water flow. Yeah, interesting. Well, something to look at when we get back to camp. Are those bones? For real? Wow. I wonder what that was. Kind of a long backbone. Pavelina. Oh, you think mm -hmm. maybe? It is. Oh, neat. Wow. Any guesses on what this was this was for? That's a fire to make electricity. Mm, I don't know. Hmm. It's a boiler. There's an old electrical panel here.
There's the old train tracks. Fairbank was once a really busy hub with three main rail lines going in and out of here. You had the Arizona and New Mexico line that turned southwest out of here headed to Nogales. Then there was a rail line constructed in 1888 that ran along the San Pedro River from Bisbee to Fairbank. That line was the Arizona and Southeastern Railroad. The Copper Queen Mining Company in Bisbee financed the construction of this line to transport ore from copper mines in Bisbee to Fairbank. Then in 1912, the Copper Queen Mining Company built another railroad line to Tucson, passing through Fairbank. That was the El Paso and Southwestern Railroad. The Arizona and Southeastern was then absorbed by the new EP and SW line. In 1924, the Southern Pacific Railroad bought the EP and SW. The rails and ties have all been removed from the old Southern Pacific routes along the San Pedro River, but the railroad bed and right-of-way still remain here. We're going to take a hike along the old railroad bed here. This looks like an old uh, loading area, maybe for passengers, I don't know. I do know that in 1900, a group of bandits attempted to hold up a Wells Fargo Express railroad car in Fairbank here. But lawman Jeff Morton prevented it from happening when he shot and killed three-fingered Jack Dunlop. Two important things to note here, this was one of the only train robberies to occur in a public place and was the last to occur during the Old West period. Three-finger Jack Dunlop was one of the last criminals to be buried in Boot Hill Graveyard and Tombstone. So I think this is as far as we're gonna go this way, but you can see, as far as I can see, there's the railroad bed goes all the way down there. We're gonna go the other way though because we kind of hiked this one other time when we were here. So we're gonna go the other way and see if there's anything that we haven't seen before. I love this kind of hiking so much where there's so much to see. So these are, uh, I suppose this was all filled in at one time. Yeah, there, there and were boards running across. There's some to walk across. old ties. This is the railroad. You can see copper in here. You see the copper? I know. That's what I was thinking. It's, yeah, it's just like we saw at Sasko. Uh -huh. yeah, it's uh, slag from the yeah. operation. Uh -huh. Wow. Now, this isn't the river that we hiked by last time, right? I think it, I think it is. I think it's probably the San Juan River. And it's dry? That's crazy. I'll have to dig up the pictures from last time we were here. This isn't the same place. Yeah, I know, but it had water in it. Right. This is the river. Yeah. I know it's it's a uh, it's just there's no water in the river. It's dry. But this is this would be the same river. But look at that. You can tell that it had some Really, some heavy-duty water running through here to take all this, flooding. huh? Flash flooding, yeah. Yeah, to take all these uh, debris and everything and pile it up here. Is that like from iron? You think the minerals? Yes. Stained it like this? Yes. Okay. That looks, was that like foundation right here?
found a tie plate. What's that? Found a tie plate. Yeah. Buried. Looks like somebody's used that for target practice. Milepost. 19. It's something you don't see every day. This is from back in the 1800s, early 1900s. More foundations here. Let's see if I can get over here. That looks like a piece of rail. So, can you see? There's that. And then there's over here. And there's this one here. It looks like rail. And this is right next to the tracks. Oh, here's a piece of rail. Yeah. Definitely. Somebody has taken that out because it's still got cement connected to it. So somebody went to the trouble of taking that from the cement. See where it came from right at the moment. When did they pick up the track? I'll have to look at my notes and then I'll tell you. Ah! What'd you see? I didn't see the bird. <laughs> hey, delete that. <laughs> That's going in the movie for sure. Yeah, I, I can't delete it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. And that is a red bird. We're going to be headed out of here now. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll catch up with you later. Bye.